Right, listen up, team. There have been reports of a new player in the underground. We don't know who it is, but we know that they're organized, motivated, and building a team of henchmen and minions, the like of which the world has never seen before. This person is attempting to become an evil genius. Sir, sir. What is it, Perkins? Would you say that the evil genius would have an underground lair, sir? It would appear not, Perkins. However, I fear it's only a matter of time. What do evil lairs look like, sir? Well, Perkins, if I were to build an evil lair, not that I would, you understand, I'd design an evil lair the like of which the world had never seen. Probably build it into a mountain, Perkins. Underground. Throw in a barracks for the men and a control room to organize the away teams. And a strong room, of course. Store all my ill-gotten games. Probably have to build some recreation items for the men. They get disloyal, you know. Maggots. Could you build traps? <laughs> Hundreds of them, Perkins. Don't want agents snooping around while you're taking over the world. And I'd build a cover operation to hide the base from prying eyes. Camouflage. That's the key. <laughs> it's a good thing you're not an evil genius, sir. Don't be such a damn fool, Perkins. Right, team. You have your orders. Get out there and find me a madman. Hello everyone and welcome to Evil Genius, the Hotel Mongol Challenge. Oh yes, we're gonna play as Alexis. Take control as Alexis. Elegant and beautiful, you are the adorable multi-millionaire heiress. Your beautiful countenance commands the utmost respect and loyalty from those who are fortunate enough to be chosen to be your minions. Indeed, and we're gonna ignore the current game because the recording software I was using didn't work. Ha! So take two. As you can see, we're really stylish. Style enough to stand on the deck of a boat as it sails towards our unknown destination. The desert island. Which is this one. Ah, oh, look how much smoother this is of the other recording program. So we're going to ignore my plight and immediately start constructing the things we need to get this mission objective done as soon as possible. Gonna knock up our number of minions and start this control room. Okay. So, the reason why I'm just racing through this is just because this game is a very objective style progression and it's just better I get on with it rather than talk about it straight off. But okay, let's, let's introduce the game of Evil Genius. So welcome to Evil Genius. This is me, the Evil Genius. I'm humming in an, in an evil and sinister manner while looking at my, my little mirror there while my men carry around sticks of dynamite. So it's a bit of a period piece in that it's like set in the 60s which is great. You know that classic spy times, yep. <sighs> Feels good. And as you heard before, this is the Hotel Mongol Challenge. So what does that look like? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Somehow, <laughs> I lost a minion. <laughs> okay, one of the minions blew themselves up with TNT. Uh, there you go. So we've unlocked the infirmary. <laughs> well, at least we can prepare for the infirmary now, I suppose. So. How this is going to work is every single one of our buildings is going to be built outside. So the reason why I've just built these two straight off is because we need to build them first one, lock the outside rooms. We're going to demolish them immediately. It feels dirty to be in this underground base, you know what I'm saying? That guy in the intro, he doesn't know how to be evil. The way to be evil is to be outside. That's right. Got to be an outdoors genius. I could even build around this area with all these little things. Yeah. <laughs> Bam. Okay, so, we built the barracks, which now gives us an extra 10 men. Boom. We're now going to immediately demolish the barracks. <laughs> nah. We need to get both the barracks and the control room in order to unlock the next tier of things. So we have Variable Genius, which is me. I'm, I'm plotting evil deeds. This is this man here is our, our henchman. That's right, he's got... Gather Minions is a default power, and you can unlock Super Headshot and Ghetto Posse. Min uh, henchmen are incredibly powerful units that we can command directly, and they're the only people we can command directly. Minions do their own thing based on instructions we give, such as this instruction. Kill! 
And this man will now go and slay the enemies with the power of Afros. And we've unlocked the freezer as well, which is great. And now the control room's done, which is now completes this objective. So let's immediately start constructing some topside shacks. Oh yes, we're going to construct three, because that's how many we can afford. Literally three. And we're going to immediately demolish these buildings. Get out of there, Alexis. Cool. As you can see, the, the henchmen actually self-heal. So losing them is actually quite difficult, but it's possible. Speaking of getting things done, this is the world map. I'm not going to turn that one off because I don't care about it. I don't know if I'm even going to build a control room. That's how baller I am. So, uh, we're going to send out our troops soon to start gathering cash from the world. But first we need to build some buildings. As you can see, my empire expands. Currently we have a single room, and this is it. As soon as we have some more minions start to flow forth, We'll start sending some out to the world map. We're going to start by sending Eli Barracuda out by himself. And we'll steal some money. As you can see, he's saddling up for a mission. Yeah. So I hope you all enjoy the, the challenge. It's going to take a little bit while to get going, but that's okay. The nature of these sort of god games is they are a bit slow in starting, but don't worry, it's going to get fast and furious soon. All manner of agents and civilians will be power dropping onto the island. Yeah, even the civilians power drop for some reason. Despite being a deserted island, it seems that everyone loves coming to here by boat or helicopter. It's just a thing you do. We're actually going to move ourselves here. As you can see, we project a wide radius that boosts the morale and the, the loyalty and the, I believe it's attention of all nearby minions. Snapping to attention. That's right. So it's going to take a little while to get these guys all doing what they should. I'll send another minion out. I need to get that income happening as fast as possible. There's a door being built. Excellent. Let's continue construction, shall we, boys? Uh, as you can see, every external door costs three power. This, um, of course, will mean some, some time it takes before we need a power generator. We'll be fine with three buildings. I think when we get to seven, then we trip over the power requirement for a power generator. I think we can send out four men in addition to Eli Barracuda. Eli, by himself, as you can see, provides two grand income because he's excellent at stealing. Which is good. So there's a lot to do, destroying this area here, as well as building these areas here. Workers certainly got their work cut out for them, so to speak. <laughs> He's gathering some money. A briefcase full of money. We've got a capacity of 10. A flat packed crate from Acme using the inflatable polygon engine. Interesting. So that's what's going to turn this top shack, shack into life? You betcha. Inflatable polygon engine. Go. So this is the objective screen. Might as well get into it. Evil intentions. Get acquainted with the island and start expanding your lair. So some reports indicate that trained civilians are holidaying on the island. Capture and imprison a maid in a security holding cell. You betcha we're going to get onto that. We're going to build an armory right there. Get a, get a holding cell. So we're producing 2400 per minute at the moment. And the extra minions are on their way. We need this income to offset the large construction outlay for each single room. Costs a lot of money. Of course this area is now being demolished. So where's the helicopter?
Oh, there's the helicopter now. Off to the world you go, stealing in my name. <laughs> All right, we better issue a capture tag for that woman. Because now, uh, we almost can build things. We're going to starve a Rax here. Get a bunk bed. I'm not even sure what, how many bunk beds I really need. But we're going to start with that. Um, what we'll do is we'll do this. We'll build two beds. Eventually we'll, we'll get access to a mess hall. A mess hall will allow us 3600 per minute. Pretty good income, if you ask me. We need to get that income flowing immediately. Boost our pop cap by performing some acts of notoriety. Now we can use the locker. The lo purpose of the locker... Are very useful, as they lock Shut up woman, this is my video. Yeah, the purpose of the... Uh, where are you? Locker. Is to give us extra minions. I think every locker is one extra pop cap, but they're expensive, and per barracks, I can only have three lockers, which means, I mean, how much is a single locker? That's 1,200. can easily do the calculation here on my spare computer. You know, 1,200 by three, it's 3,600, plus the six grand, 60 grand for a barracks of that size. Build an army, by the way. Barracks of that size. It costs me six sixty-four thousand dollars and eight hundred dollars to actually build three extra pop cap, and in my books, that's just not worth the outlay. Let's get this armory under construction. This will eventually become a gun rack. As you can see, the minions are happily chasing down a maid, and have quite happily felled her. You need to keep collecting my money. Look, that's my money right there, son. Auto save. Once the holding cells being constructed, we'll go from there. Uh, what? How much? How many workers do we need? Four, three, two. Okay, I might just send the workers out and do that mission immediately. Okay. Good. This will gain access to the library should the mission succeed. As you can see, the men are now using the beds. Which is one reason I'm not sure if I actually want to build beds. What they do is congregate people together. But the room might be better served as an infirmary slash archives or something. Alright. Send out two extra men. To the world you go. She's just going to stay there on the floor. Eventually she'll get back up and then she'll go back down again. Alas, the powers of having not enough men to do everything. Because I expect at least one of these guys to die. Now this is the downside of not having a, a um, control panel and control room. Is you don't know the risk, you don't know the time, you don't know any of the stats, you just know what you need to make it happen. Okay. Doing well though. They're now going to drop her into the armory, and then they'll build the armory. They'll build the armory, not, not the holding cell. But they're working on it. Give them credit. What's he building? Oh, he's building the, uh, building the door. Okay. Go door! Boom! There's a door. They're getting a bit confused by the door from the looks of it. And this guy should be building the holding cell. Get in there. Disrupt the path rinding flow. Yeah, there we go. Cool. As soon as she's in there, we'll gain access to the holding chair. 
sorry, the interrogation chair. It's taken a while for these guys to steal the library blueprints, but man, four grand a minute? Yes, please. We can almost afford another topside shack. Are you tempted? We saved two grand by not doing that. Make sure we can even make it smaller again. I have to make at least two, okay. Saving money by building tiny rooms. Tiny room. Tiny. Because I'm going to change what's in there anyway. We'll probably replace it with racks. Seems good. Stand there, woman. Cool. I'm allowed to say that because it's me. I believe this is a good spot for a another topside shack. Sounds good. Is that in line? Yeah, it is. Gotta have everything lined up accurately after all, otherwise everyone will be offended. Nisha's got a good icon. Oh yes. Everyone's doing a good job. Who knows how well that mission's going? <laughs> Who cares? Doing well. Doing well. Off to a good start at least. Got some good cash flow. This rate it's about 12 minutes for every building. That's why I had them get started immediately. funny. This, what this has unlocked is the reading table here and the archives. So once I've worked out exactly how this base is gonna, gonna work out, we're gonna cancel this room. Um, just need this interrogation chair to keep going. We'll build an infirmary slash archives. Or possibly an archives plus uh, training room. Just need to be as efficient as possible. We we'll also need an area of an, a, an, a um, corridor in it for a fire extinguisher. Doing well though. How's that notoriety? It's one. That's right, it's one. To be an evil genius though, you gotta get 500. Of course, evil genius. Yeah, well, let's just say it's the name of the game and leave it at that, shall we? Oi, man, you're not doing much. Thank you. Stand there. Boost their attention. This guy is building it. You. Get on of it, son. He's taking some money out to go build a chair. Don't stand up. This is why I don't like barracks. Now he's doing it. Alright, go and promote the construction. Heat's getting fairly high, but at this point I don't think the Agents of Justice appear on the minimap, which is also why I'm checking the minimap constantly. So the world map. This is the minimap, this is the world domination screen. Ah, ah. Now that we've clapped at it, it should build faster. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe I'll just demolish the barracks. There's really no reason to have them. <sighs> Replenish their endurance, yeah. I honestly think there's better options to increase endurance than barracks. We may just go barracksless. Oh, go mech. That was really lame. Alright. So the next mission is to interrogate this woman. As soon as we've built the chair, we can interrogate her. Build the chair, everyone. It's a $6,000 chair, by the way. Couldn't use any old chair. Had to get the six grand one. Yeah. It's literally a chair of a lamp. Six grand. That's right. Let's interrogate this woman. There we go. She's now 
Order has been issued for our interrogation and execution. Excellent. Let's carry on. What else can we build at this point? Can build the infirmary and the archives. We do need to interrogate this woman before we can proceed further. Simple as that. And it'll be good when we get guards, because they do a better job at stealing. We need a lot of guards. Because we're playing on hard, there's the inevitable factor that they're going to start trying to kill me. Having guards of actual guns is going to help. I'm going to try and have some pocket armories here and there, so people can grab some guns when they need them. Stop sleeping. Use the symbols! That actually made her sound like a man. So he killed her by talking like a Gungan. I could see how that would happen. Just saying. Alright, we can immediately demolish this area. Uh, I'm not sure if we want to though, but we can. So, we got a large number of extra items have been available. So evil intentions is now done. Boom. Head of the underworld. There can only be one criminal mastermind. Time to make sure it's you. Gather all the major criminal players to a conference in your island to explain how it's going to be. First we need to summon the crime lords. Crime lords, just like evil geniuses, are impressed by shows of wealth. You need somewhere suitably ostentatious to host this gathering of criminal masterminds. Build an inner sanctum and a conference table in preparation for this nefarious delegation. Rumour has it that all of Indian subcontinent is controlled by one man, Akamad Kazan. A Krishan? He has many nefarious plots and intrigues, mostly concerning corruption of local government officials. Track him down and encourage him to come to bend to our way of thinking. Marvin DeLuca, the nefarious Marfadon of all North America, is a powerful man, but with too much humbrus. He must be made to respect true power and authority. The inscrupulable Li Ling Yo is the undisputed head of organized crim <laughs> crime across South China and Southeast Asia. Track him down and send a party to show him we mean business. As you can see on the mini map, boom. We've got a few extra objectives, such as capture guard and capture technician. I think there's a capture guard as a capture maid in case we run out of valets. For now, just keep stealing money, honestly. Fortunately, our capacity has not yet gone up. But we do have the ability to build the training room and the staff room, I believe. Yes, we do. So what's available in the staff room at this time? We do have the drinks machine, which will actually boost our endurance. And what about the... Go away, constant pop-ups. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Alright. So what about the tennis table? What does that do? It's a boost of tension. We don't need that. Okay. So what we need is to demolish this. Demolish that. Demolish that. Demolish the whole room. I think this room can go as well. Let's have an auto save. We do need some spaces for rifle cabinets. Hmm. Alright, so, first things first. Let's start with an infirmary and an armory. So, armory. Actually, no. Cancel that. Uh, corridor can be there. We've got four buildings now. Boom. I'm getting all excited with the options. <laughs> Alright. So I want guns, guns, fire extinguisher, I think. That can be the fire extinguisher. Mmm, is that good? No, that's going to be a fire extinguisher there, I think. We will need a place for staff room. So that will be here. 
Yep, that's that's this. For those are keen-eyed amongst you, I've just lost someone in the world. All right, here goes the reading table. Just get rid of it then. Go. And for the staff room, we can add a drinks machine. Boom. We might have a few extra drinks machines as demand increases. Okay, this can be built. Armory here. Alright, rifle cabinets. Rifle cabinets. External doors, external doors. Alright, what's in here? Actually, that can go. Sorry about it. Um, Alright, got it. Staff rooms and armories will be next to each other. That's how we're going to do this. Staff room, staff room. Oh, can't do that. Staff room, done. Drinks machine, drinks machine. The Cokes are right next to the rifles. Surely this has got no issues whatsoever of occupational health and safety. None whatsoever. Okay, but we've got a plan now. Staff room, drinks... Actually, oh, rotate that. Drinks machine. Drinks machine. Built. Built. Excellent. Alright, so in here we have the archives. We don't need traps. Uh, we want in here the reading table. And in here... We're going to get a training room with an external door and a mouse maze. That's right, boosting attention. Yeah. I think that's what I want in there. Pretty sure. Well, where else are people going to be hanging out? Yeah, we lost a bunch of guys here. Okay, reinforce. Alright, in here. We are going to need a holding cell eventually. An infirmary is also a good idea. I think armory here with a extra set of rifle cabinets. But for now we'll leave those on hold and we'll build an infirmary. Pharmacy booth. Where's the waypoints, hotspots on it? Okay, that can be built. That's left on pause. Unpause, unpause. Cool. I'm not going to build that set of rifles just yet because we don't actually have the ability to train guards. We're going to need to get the ability to train guards very soon, though. I think we can build another topside shack. Um, there seems like a good place. Alright, we're off to a good start. No. How many men do we need to capture a guard? Four, okay. Well, here's four. Cool, well, they're just there doing their thing. Until we have an extra interrogation area set up, what I might do is remove that for now. And I'll put it back. Put the rifle cabinet back. But for now, what we'll do is in here, we'll build the interrogation chair. That seems good. Cool. Construction is underway. That, that's much we can say for sure. Boom. So we've got the ability to boost endurance with Coke's machines. Oh, they do. They use power. Okay. Okay. They use power. We've got the ability to boost smarts with the reading table. Attention is coming from me. Loyalty is coming from me. 
Got a drinks machine in here. I'm going to build another drinks machine. I may have some uh, loot in here eventually, but for now that will do. Cool. So smarts, endurance, loyalty, health. Yeah, we actually got every basic stat taken into account, which is great. This will probably be a power, power place. Actually, it'll be an armory, won't it? Yeah. I may end up moving that mouse maze. The mouse maze is interesting. Uh, where is it? Oh. Get rid of it then. <laughs> Can you find the dynamite stick now? <laughs> Good on your valet. We'll just cancel the room. Seems good. Hopefully someone will pick up that dynamite. I don't wanna, I don't want to get get the guard until we're basically sorted. All right. What are we doing? We got a coke machine getting set up. Oh wow, look at that power consumption. Where is it all going? Well, there are a few empty rooms doing nothing. This may have to be a power generator room. We are low on the cash, though. No, no, take, get rid of the mouse maze, get rid of the drinks machine. We only need one. What else is taking money? Nothing, good. Well, what we're going to do is call it a video. And when we come back, be more evil genius. Hotel Mungle Challenge. Oh yeah!